Let's take a look at the Emporia View Gen 3 Home Energy Monitor. This device installs directly in your breaker panel box and can monitor up to 16 circuits. I bought this product on Amazon myself to use in my own home. And if you would like to have one yourself, please help me out by clicking the link in the description of this video to help me earn a little bit of commission from your purchase on Amazon. All right, since I live in a condo, I have a sub panel where the ground and the neutral lines come in separately. Although this does not really change the way this device gets installed, it's just something to be aware of. Now let me pause and make something clear. If you are not comfortable working with electricity, do not do this yourself. Hire an electrician. Working with power is dangerous enough and working directly in your breaker panel is probably the most dangerous area in your whole house to mess with electricity. With that said, let's continue on. So this device has an antenna and I plan to install it up here. It cannot be installed in the breaker box itself, so I need to pop open one of the holes up here. I went ahead and used a flathead screwdriver to break open the hole. I'll go ahead and also make sure the metal cover has swung open fully and is not blocking the way. The antenna will go into this hole just like this. But first, we need to flip around the sleeve it comes with, so that it holds the antenna into place from the inside, instead of the outside. And now we can push the sleeve in, and it will hold the antenna for us. Alright, before we continue, let's identify our incoming power lines. We got two hot lines here, which connect to these breaker rails. Then, we got all our ground connected to this left side rail which is of course connected to the panel box itself. Then on the right side rail, we have our incoming neutral line. The two hot lines are shared among the two vertical array of breakers. The first two breakers are connected to the left hot line, and the two under that is connected to the right hot line, and it flip flops back and forth like that. It's important to know this, since we need to pull one line of power from each hot line. We will connect these two hot lines to the L1 and L2 ports. And I'll go ahead and prepare two little wires which I'll use to split the outgoing power from these breakers so that I can feed the energy monitor. I have already connected the power from the first breaker off camera. And now I'll pull out the third breaker and split the lines here. Once I have split the line into two and connected one of them to the energy monitor, I can go ahead and pop the breaker back into place. There are four lines going into the energy monitor. The blue one and the white one will both connect to neutral, and the other two will connect to the two breakers. There are no empty spaces on my neutral line rail, so I'll need to split one of these as well, just like we did with the breakers. Once I'm done splitting it, I can carefully insert the wire back into the neutral rail and screw it back down. Alright, with all the wires now connected, I can also go ahead and connect the antenna as well. I'll tuck the energy monitor right here on the left side of the box. Also, I'll make sure all the wiring sits neatly inside and out of the way. As you can see, with the power turned on, I get the LED indicators that are telling me that the power is making it to the energy monitor and everything looks okay. Next, we need to install the sensor clamps, and we need to make sure they are oriented correctly. There are arrows on the sensors to help with that. And off camera, I also went ahead and installed clamp sensors on all my other breakers. Here's what the phone app looks like for me. I went ahead and labeled all my circuits. You can see live data or organized by minutes, hours, days, weeks, months, and years. You can also graph this data live or by minutes, hours, days, weeks, months, and years. The app is pretty easy to use and you can label each circuit and even combine circuits under a single label if you wish. You can even change the display units to amps and currency and a few other options. I think this is a great product and it's well worth the price. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this video informative.